Hey YouTube, Bruce Don and Diesel here. Uh, on our final leg of our Abbotsford to Tuk 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 and back journey, we left on July 14th, Don's birthday. And here we are, August uh, 22nd. And we're heading from uh, Kamloops down to uh, Abbotsford. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit about our, our seven most favorite locations. So we're gonna start with number seven of course. Um, gonna go with Kino City. Hey, what did you think of Kino City? Oh, fantastic. The yeah. views were amazing. Even with the bit of smoke that there was, we still got to see quite a bit. That's right. Historical yeah. buildings. The Ki yeah. Kino, Mayo, uh, they were the silver trails aspect of the gold rush trails. And when we drove away from there, went up the top of the mountain, up 11 kilometers it was incredible views like like a, like we've never seen um, so that was our our seventh most enjoyable um, place next one is Haynes Haynes Alaska hey that was a nice one yeah yeah it was. right from the time you pull in beautiful little town small town feeling of course not so much gold rush feel more like a industry town um, but Nonetheless, it was a very, it was a town with a lot of character. That's what I felt about it. And just great campsite there. We were right on the beach. It was just the, the back of the trailer open up for the morning sun. We ended up staying a couple nights there. Um, so that was uh, number six. And that provincial park. Or oh yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. A provincial. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We did a video on that one place. It was beautiful. That's where we saw our first three grizzlies. That was pretty cool there, right on the beach. And then we're off to another area, um, Telegraph Creek. That to me held the start of our rich, rich gold rush history um, when we were there. That was fantastic. Met the nice curator of the museum and he walked us through the timelines and just Telegraph Creek has just got so much history to it. Um, and to get there it was epic. Remember that drive? Yeah. It was crazy. Sketchy road. Yeah, sketchy road. I don't know, those locals just drive it like nothing. Um, we were cut out on the side of a cliff and it was a thousand feet down to death. And But we managed. We could go over all right. Yeah. Anyway, uh, from that, we have to talk about Atlin. Beautiful. And, uh, Atlin is, they say it's the yeah, Swiss, many, yeah, the Swiss the Alps yeah. of, uh, of the area. Just gorgeous mountainside. Like, Every, everywhere we went, there was just beauty and mountains everywhere. Untouched beauty, just incredible. Outland had a ton of history too. We did a bunch of uh, walking stuff around that area, discovering, metal detecting, gold panning, that sort of jazz. And then uh, Stuart, Haida, Haider, and the Salmon Glacier. Uh, What'd yeah. you think of those? Loved Stuart. It was very yeah. quiet, very nice. Um, the Salmon Glacier was just absolutely beautiful. Going up there, Bruce was saying, oh, just it's just another, another glacier. glacier. We don't necessarily have to go. And of course, I really wanted to go because I saw lots of research and it was yep. so beautiful. It's a wonder of the world. Yeah. you got to go. If you're going to go to Stewart, you're going to go to Hyder. Don't forget to get Hyderized at that hotel. Yeah. Uh, you got to go to the Salmon Glacier. I was wrong. I said, oh, it's just another glacier. But yeah. you're right, you're right in eye shot with this glacier that starts up so high and comes down past you. And it's just, you're in awe. It's a, it's a wonder. After the Stuart Hyder, I would say Tuk Tuk Tuk. And what number is that? <laughs> number two. So we're two. down to number two, Tuk Tuk Tuk. And what can I say? That was a beautiful place. Tuk 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 is, is a village feeling of all the locals and they're so welcoming. You know, whether you're driving by them, they're driving by you, they're, you know, they've got their, on their quads, it's just a way of life up there. They're just so friendly, so welcoming and such a good community. And uh, nothing's changed, right? Like it's just, it's the old buildings the way they were. And it's just nothing more than Tuk Tuk Tuk, a beautiful place to be. Yeah. And of course, we had to do what everybody else did, went for a swim. Yeah. You can see that on our video. The Arctic Ocean. Yeah. Now, 
would have well our our favorite of all places to be. Number one. The number one area in our northern trip, trailing tra tracing the Gold Rush routes. We were with Jim and Carol at Dawson City. That is by far the best Gold Rush place we've ever been. We uh, got an opportunity uh, to go see Carol's um, uncle's places and it was just amazing that uh, we got to see you know some of the history please try again the history of the uh, of that area so yep Dawson Creek will always be a special place in our hearts and definitely go back yeah we'd definitely like to go back, back. Yeah. a place I'd like to go to because I really enjoyed it but I'm not gonna say it on this well, I am gonna say it but I it's not one of our top places but is Whitehorse Whitehorse has just got a natural beauty to me the northern town natural beauty well, it's close it. to everything right? yeah you're the yeah. you're the hub of the universe in, in Whitehorse so there you have it our top seven places that we really enjoyed we're on our way just past Merritt and on our way down to uh, Abbotsford at the tail end of our northern vacation and of course we're not over our vacation we're back to Cultus Lake Holiday Park for the balance of our uh, time off so anyway Bruce Donna and Diesel from the Cool Key Raj out, out.